10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ready or not, here I come. Silly me. I forgot to turn off my Esme lamp. Now where could the real Esme be? <gasps> uh oh! This game just got a whole lot more difficult. You haven't seen any large cardboard boxes anywhere, have you? Cardboard box? Well, my dear Isabella, hold on to your socks, for here is a box. <gasps> I meant, have you seen my cardboard box? Oh, <laughs> sorry, no. <sighs> Never mind then. <laughs> Madis, have you seen a large cardboard box anywhere? Cardboard box? Well, my dear, is a smeller. Hold on to your socks, for here is a great big custard pie! Ah! I should have seen that coming. Never mind. Well, don't waste it. It's still good food. Liliana, you haven't seen a large cardboard box anywhere, have you? No. Why? Well, I was playing hide and seek with Esme and she hid in a box, which was actually a teleportation machine. Wait, wait, wait. You built a teleportation machine? Yes. I wanted to use it to tidy my room, but I was too nervous to use it. Hmm. I think I might know what went wrong. I need more light. That's better. Hmm? Yep. Just as I suspected. What is it? You didn't build a teleportation machine. You built a shrinking machine. Oh no! Can we get her back to normal size? We can, but we'll need a large box and a great big custard pie. <sighs> Turns out I will need it. Malice, I... <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh. Okay, got them. Great. Box. Pie. So, how does this work again? This is an enlarging device, but it only works if the subject is in complete darkness. Right, and why did you need the pie? I was hungry. Okay, stand back. You took your time. We did it! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Calm down, guys. It's just hide and seek. <laughs> right, my turn. 199, 98, 97, 96, 95. <laughs>
now it's a spell for cleaning up mess. Shh. My bedroom really clean. That doesn't sound like a real spell. It's worth a shot. Dooby doo, dooby doo. Make my bedroom really clean. Mess world. Mess world? Indeed. And who are you? I am Eaton Mess. Nice to meet you, Mr. Mess. If you show me the exit, I'll be on my way. Oh, Olivia, there is no leaving this realm. But I have to get back. My bear is all alone. Oh, I hope he's all right. Well, 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 Mr. Snuggles, I've got you at last. I've got it! I'll use my wand to transport us back to Kitty Sousa land! Hurrah! Jolly good! What? Where's my wand? I must have dropped it when I landed! Oh, poo! Well, we'll just have to look for it then. Great idea! Let's go! Aren't you coming? I don't have any legs. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry, Mr. Snuggles. I'm coming back for you. Oh, Mr. Snuggles, I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm back. I didn't find my wand, but I found some other things that might work. Well, it's worth a shot. May this wand in my hand Return me to Kitty Zuzaland. Wow, this is much nicer than I was expecting. Wonderful. This isn't Kitty Zuzaland, Eaton. We better try another wand. <laughs> Ugh, well that will never work. See? I'm dreadfully sorry. This princess doesn't have the faintest clue what she's doing. Oh, wise guy. Hey! Son of a biscuit! What's the matter with you? Hey! Oh, come on! What's the big idea? Oh. Ugh, it's no use. We'll never get back to Kitty Zuza Land. Have you got nothing else? Olivia, do something! I've got it! I don't know why I didn't think of this before. A gummy sweet should surely bring us back to Kitty Zuzaland. land. Cod swallop! It's worth a try! More tea, Mr. Snuggles. Liliana isn't much longer with the shopping. I'm back! Woohoo! Oh, you haven't bought very much. Appearances can be deceiving, Esme. Oh, 
week shopping in one bag. Liliana, that's incredible! Now, Esme, I'm going to show you how to make a seasonal stew with my secret ingredient. Magic cauliflower. Wait, where is the magic cauliflower? It must still be in the bag. Esme, what are you doing? <sighs> you know what? I don't think I've been sleeping enough, Liliana. What? Why'd you say that? Because I've got bags under my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Now get out of there, it's not safe. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Liliana. I'll be fair. <laughs> Oh, Esme, why don't you listen? OK, I'm coming. <sighs> this does actually make you kind of tired. Oh, hey, Eliana. You decided to join me. Esme, you shouldn't have come down here. It's not safe. Looks pretty safe to me. Hey, look, you've got something. My magic cauliflower! But seriously, Esme, this isn't my bag. It came from... Whoa. What is it? Okay. Don't touch it, this bag is... Delicious. <sighs> oh, I spent ages on that magic infinity bag. I was going to use it to store all my brilliant dastardly creations, including my new hypnosis cake. Whoever eats it will do the evil bidding of the first person they see. Oh, hello, Timothy. Yes, good boy. Liliana, at the supermarket. Going shopping with my magic infinity bag? Right, thanks for the intel, Timothy. I'm going to go and reclaim what's mine. Yes, I'll pick you up some ants. I feel... I feel... The sudden desire to prank my friends. Esme, what are you talking about? Why do you have... An even greater desire to prank my friends. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, those pesky princesses thought that they could get away with stealing my bag. Wait, where are they? They're... Hang on, that's them. They're inside the bag. Malice, Queen of Mischief, we are at your service. Huh? Oh, you must have eaten my hypnosis cake. In which case, I order you to... Not so fast! Olivia! Ought to keep her out of mischief for a while. Now, what to do with you two? Aha! That will do the trick. You were hypnotised. Malice must have put a spell on that cake. <gasps> cake? No, 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 Esme, please don't eat it. No, Esme. Oh, Esme. <coughs> Mr Snuggles, I am your humble servant. <laughs> Come on, Esme. 
guys, may you can do this. Just one more strike and then I win the mega prize. Yay, strike! Woohoo, well done Esme. Okay, now let's go get my prize. That's my prize! Sorry, someone took the last plushie. It's okay, Esme. We need another remote for Zuzu Kong anyway. Hang on. Wait, what? My remote isn't working. Really? Is it switched on? <gasps> what was that? It's like I had no control over myself. Happening, <laughs> Esme. Give me the remote, Esme. Sure, but first I'm feeling a little bit hungry. Liliana. Oh, stop it, Esme. Sure, but my laundry needs doing first. <laughs> Esme, this is not nice. I'm sorry, Liliana. This is just too much fun. Entertain me. Time to put an end to this. <laughs> Liliana, trying to get my magical remote, eh? Well, this will teach you. Huh? <gasps> oh, no batteries. <laughs> no batteries, eh? Time to teach you a lesson. No! Thank you. Here's your remote back. I'm sorry, Liliana. I got too power hungry. It's all right, Esme. I want my prize, please. What's this? A gaming remote. It's better than nothing, I guess. Okay, Malice, what have you got for me? This. Ah, oh, thank you. That was very nice of you, Malice. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. Hmm. All we know about them is they're the primary colours. Yep. There's red. Maybe it could be strawberry flavour. Please don't eat that. I won't. Phew. 
We also have blue. Like the sea or a night sky. All that. And finally, yellow. My favourite. The colour of sunshine. I prefer black. It goes with everything. So, we can use the colours here to make any other colour. Hmm. So, red and yellow makes... Take a look. Orange. The colour of oranges, pretty much. My turn. Oh, purple reminds me of my favourite flavoured juice. Purple berry juice? Blackcurrant. I don't know why it's purple either. What is it? like this. Being ill is not an excuse. It always looks like this in here. Here. There you are. Fit for a princess. I liked it the way it was. I couldn't resist it. Why do I even try? Because you love me? I try not to. Uh-oh. What is it? Yet. Out of the way. I can't understand you. Huh? No, 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 no. I did try to warn you. <laughs> doing that. I've got dance fever. I've never heard of such an illness. Oh, what is it? I feel better. Phew. Really? Just like that? Yep, definitely better. Out of the I know. I'm sorry, Isabella. I should have aimed better. <laughs> Cue the music. Uh, what's happening? Dance fever. I'll join you. Okay, Malice, what have you got for me? This. Ah, oh, thank you. That was very nice of you, Malice. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. Hmm. All we know about them is they're the primary colours. Yep. Yeah. There's red. Maybe it could be strawberry flavour. Please don't eat that. I won't. 
Two. We also have blue. Like the sea, or a night sky, or that. And finally, yellow. My favourite. The colour of sunshine. I prefer black. It goes with everything. So, we can use the colours here to make any other colour. Hmm. So, red and yellow makes... Take a look. Orange. The colour of oranges, pretty much. My turn. Oh, purple reminds me of my favourite flavoured juice. Purple berry juice? Blackcurrant. I don't know why it's purple either. What is it? My sources have told me that Malice has learnt how to make slime. But, but, how? I thought you were working on it. Oh no, I've known the recipe for years. I just kept it. Top secret. Well, if this is top secret, and you already know the recipe, why am I here? I just thought it would be fun to teach you. Ready. Empty the bottle of soap into the bowl. <laughs> now add the cornstarch. Too much, we don't want it to turn into play doh. Stop! Good job. Thanks. <sighs> What's wrong? This is the difficult part. Make a mistake and. And then what? Well, let's hope we don't find out. <laughs> oh, I'm only joking. It's all perfectly safe. All you have to do now is stir it. Managed it. We'll see. There's one special ingredient left. What is it? Try it. It looks so pretty.
Lucy, this is the life. A relaxing night in with my favourite fluffy slippers. Now I know they're cute, but I don't care. They're comfy. <sighs> this is perfect. No interruptions, no worries, and definitely no... Malice, we need to pour some sugar. Please. <sighs> Princesses. Cucumber mask. Great choice. Thanks. Mm, I mean, ugh, go away. I told you Malice wouldn't let us borrow some sugar. But Isabella, we have to believe in the kindness of strangers. The goodness that can be inside anyone. <laughs> Never mind, let's go. Good riddance. Now, where are we, Timothy? It won't open. What? But I have to do my bedtime skincare routine. It's stuck. Use some magic. <laughs> Looks like we're here for the night. What now? The door is broken. But the locksmith won't be open until tomorrow morning. Exactly. So it looks like... We're staying here tonight. I'm sorry, but we are. I'll have some hot cocoa, please. Isabella, I don't think we should be... With marshmallows. Stop, Malice will go. And a biscuit, please. Okay, anything for you, Olivia? What? I don't have to like you to be a good host, but if this is a sleepover, it'll be done properly. Oh, okay. I'll take a cuckoo too. Thanks. Red. R E D. Four. One, two, three, four. Do not trust your greatest enemy. <laughs> Darn, I knew I should have spent more time on my hair. My go. Blue. B L U E. Three. One, two, three. Sometimes things are traps. Weird. I wonder what it means. Mysterious. <sighs> okay, new game. How about truth or dare? Okay, I'll go first. Olivia, truth or dare? I'll pick... I dare you to give me your wands. Okay, sure. Now I dare you both to look outside. What? Dream Timothy. Wasn't it? One, two, three. Olivia! Hey Isabella, ready for our trip to the wishing well? I sure am. I've got our tent, a miniature kitchen, an entire wardrobe of spare clothes, herbal tea, a hot water bottle for Mr. Snuggles, and some cake. Right, well, I'm sure that with all that equipment, absolutely nothing can go wrong. Come on, before it gets dark, don't forget the zoos and pennies.
right, it should be around here somewhere. But where? So, it is the magic wishing world that you seek. Mr. Zuza! Yes, it is indeed I, Mr. Zuza. Can you tell us where to find it? Oh, I can tell you where to find it, all right. But first, you must answer me this riddle. If an egg falls in the woods and no one is there to hear it... Found it! Oh, okay. Well, you may have found the well, but you have not found the key required to open the well. To find the key, you must solve a series of crosswords. Found it! Ah, well, you may have found the key to the well, but you have not found... Found it! Oh, for the love of Zuza. Go on then, be boring. I'll just do all these Right, things. Olivia. Have you got the zoos and pennies? Got them! Well, um, let's try them out. Here goes! I wish for a brand new book of spells. Right, my turn. I wish for the perfect bottle of scented bath oil. Look at that. For a perfect bath, empty this whole bottle into a great big jacuzzi. If only we had a great big jacuzzi. Well, we still got one more zoo than Penny. That doesn't look like a zoo's and penny. It looks like a... I wish that we had a super cool, amazing jacuzzi. That was close. Piggledy Puggledy Soggledy Schmuggledy! <gasps> oh great, but what was that? I don't know, but I do know that wasn't a Susan Penny that you threw into the well. They were right here. I'm sure they were all identical when I counted them. <gasps> Unless someone switched one of them for a cursed Susan Penny. Who would do that? Hang on, where's my brownie shaped bath bomb gone? Bath bomb? Manis! Hey princesses! <gasps> Feeling peckish were we, Malice? <laughs> You can help us make our jacuzzi. <laughs> hey Esme. Hey Olivia. Esme, you have to come with me to the best Easter egg hunt ever. How do you know it's going to be the best Easter egg hunt ever? Ever. That's what the poster says. It's the name of the Easter egg hunt. Anyway, come on, it will be fun. Free food. Oh, um, I'm a little busy right now, Olivia. Could you go for me? Of course, Esme. See you later. on an Easter egg hunt and I'm not invited. How could they? Easter is my favorite time of the year. Let's see how the princesses win this Easter egg hunt with the wrong clues. <laughs> That'll teach them not to invite me somewhere. Ooh. There's 
nothing here. Look somewhere else. There's nothing here either. Look over there. Well, that wasn't very helpful. I thought this was supposed to be the best Easter egg hunt ever. <laughs> Malice! <gasps> oh, hey, Livia. I was just making sure that this egg was perfect for you. I think I'll be the judge of that, Malice. But, but look, there's more over there. <gasps> Where? <laughs> if you like Easter eggs so much, you wouldn't mind becoming one. Ugh, fine, Timothy. I'll apologise. And I'll turn Olivia back into a princess. And I'll get rid of the eggs. Whoa! Phew! Hello? Hey, Olivia! How did it go? Did you get lots of chocolate for me? No, Esme. I got turned into an Easter egg by Malice. Wow! That sounds amazing. Actually, even though I love chocolate, I wouldn't want to be chocolate. And you know, if I want chocolate, I'd probably eat myself in seconds. Well, no, there'll be nothing left. This is Zusa Chef. Over the next three weeks, four aspiring chefs from the furthest corners of Kitty Zusa Land will be put to the test by culinary legend Gordon Ramzus. I don't follow recipes. I am recipes. These chefs will have to prove they've got what it takes to cook at the highest level. Do I think I've got what it takes? Well, is the sole purpose of eggs to contain surprises? Yes. Three challenges stand between them and the ultimate prize, the Zusa Chef Trophy. That trophy is mine. <gasps> trophies? My middle name is Trophies. Who will claim the title of Zusa Chef Champion? Right, the first test is an invention test. I'm going to give our chefs a selection of ingredients. Their job is simple, make the best plate of food in the world. Olivia, this is an invention test. Make me something delicious for your 15 minutes. I just kept things simple and it seemed to work. Isabella, how are you feeling? I... This is an invention test. You have 15 minutes. Go! I don't think he liked it. Oh. 
Esme, this is an invention test. Wait, where are all the ingredients? Sorry, didn't have breakfast. Hang on, where's my hat? Uh, sorry. Have I won? I think I definitely won. Come on, let's get this finished. Right, this is your invention test. Invention? It's an invention. I call it the surprise egg lie detector. What does it do? It can tell if a surprise egg is telling lies. Ooh, naughty surprise egg. Well, this is actually delicious. Oh, thank you. Well done. Chefs, you've done your invention test and now it's time for one of you to leave the competition. Some of you did well, but some of you are simply horrendous. But the most horrendous of the lot was Isabella. If you could kindly get out as quickly as possible. As for the rest of you, you better get your heads into gear. Now this competition's only gonna get tougher. Now get lost. Four chefs have become three. Join us next week as our chefs cook for The Critic. Welcome to Zusa Chef. Last time, the chefs faced an invention test. Liliana's innovative cooking saw her storm through to the next round, but Isabella struggled with the basics and was the first to leave the competition. This week, the three remaining chefs face an even tougher task, The Critic. It's a real privilege to cook for Mr. Zuza. Apparently, he has over seven trillion billion taste buds. I expect perfection. Nothing more, nothing less. Only two can go through to the grand final. This is Zuza Chef. Chefs, welcome to Critic Week. You've done well so far, but it's about to get a whole lot tougher. You each have one chance to impress our critic, Mr. Zuza. Don't mess it up. Let's cook! Esme was lucky to get through the invention test, having eaten all of her ingredients and Gordon's hat. <coughs> wow, Esme, looks like you've actually decided to cook something today, not just eat. Mm -hmm. What are you going to be making for the critic? Well, Mr. Zuza is a surprise egg, so I thought I would cook him a gummy surprise. <coughs> What's the surprise? Well, I don't know yet. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a surprise. Esme is clueless. She's in half of the ingredients. She doesn't know what she's cooking. It's a disaster. Olivia's take on carrot surprised Gordon with its delicious taste and simplicity. Olivia, last week you reinvented the carrot. Are you going to do something similar this week? I'm certainly going to try, Gordon. What are you cooking for the critic? I'm going to be cooking toad in the hole with a twist. What's the twist? It's going to have real toads in it. Hmm, that actually sounds delicious. Let's hope Mr. Zuza agrees. Toad in the hole with real toads sounds delicious. But will it impress the egg himself? I don't know. Liliana was the top performer in the first round, giving her meals a technical twist. Liliana, you won me over in the first round, but can you win Mr. Zuza over? I certainly hope so. I'm going to be cooking a microwave meal. A microwave meal? 
Hi, Crave Meal. We're in the semi-final of Caesar Chefs and you're cooking a microwave meal. <laughs> I'm not using a microwave to cook. I'm making an edible microwave. You're completely mad, Liana. Thanks. I just, I just, I just, I just. Chef, you have five minutes. Five minutes! Esme is first to face Mr. Zuza. Gummy surprise! This should be interesting. Well, there's the surprise. Interesting flavours, but not much skill on show. Next up, Olivia. Toad in the hole with a twist. <laughs> Let's hope it's not got real toads in it. Ugh. I'm not even going to taste this. <laughs> it's actually quite tasty. And last to face the critic, Liliana. I don't understand. What am I meant to do with this? Eat it, of course. Bon appetit. I don't know how she does it. It's divine. Chefs, you faced the critic, and now it's time for the results. I just spoke with Mr. Zuza, and we've decided the finalists. Esme, you have won. <laughs> the right to leave the competition immediately. Oh! <laughs> Olivia, Liliana, see you in the finals. Four has become two. Join us next week for the grand final of Sousa Chef as Olivia and Liliana take on Chef's Table. One, two, three. Olivia! Hey, Isabella. Ready for our trip to the wishing well? I sure am. I've got our tent, a miniature kitchen, an entire wardrobe of spare clothes, herbal tea, a hot water bottle for Mr Snuggles, and some cake. Uh, right, well, I'm sure that with all that equipment, absolutely nothing can go wrong. Come on, before it gets dark. Don't forget the zoos and pennies. around here somewhere. But where? So, it is the magic wishing well that you seek. Mr. Zuza! Yes, it is indeed I, Mr. Zuza. Can you tell us where to find it? Oh, I can tell you where to find it, all right. But first, you must answer me this riddle. 
If an egg falls in the woods and no one is there to hear it. Found it! Oh, okay. Well, you may have found the well, but you have not found the key required to open the well. To find the key, you must solve a series of crosswords. Found it! Ah, well, you may have found the key to the well, but you have not found... Found it! Oh, for the love of Zuza. Go on then, be boring. I'll just do all these... Right, Olivia. Have you got the zoos and pennies? Got them! Well, um, let's try them out. Here goes! I wish for a brand new book of spells. <gasps> Woohoo! A rang a tang tango! <laughs> Amazing! Right, my turn. I wish for the perfect bottle of scented bath oil. Look at that. For a perfect bath, empty this whole bottle into a great big jacuzzi. If only we had a great big jacuzzi. Well, we still got one more zoos and penny. That doesn't look like a zoos and penny. It looks like a... I wish that we had a super cool, amazing jacuzzi. That was close. Piggledy Puggledy Soggledy Schmuggledy! <gasps> oh great, but what was that? I don't know, but I do know that wasn't a Susan Penny that you threw into the well. They were right here. I'm sure they were all identical when I counted them. <gasps> Unless someone switched one of them for a cursed Susan Penny. Who would do that? Hang on, where's my brownie shaped bath bomb gone? Bath bomb? Malice! Hey princesses! <gasps> Feeling peckish were we, Malice? <laughs> You can help us make our jacuzzi. <laughs> okay, Esme, last one to the grocery store does the dishes tonight. You're on, Olivia. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Unlike those princesses, I don't need a car to get around. <laughs> I win, Esme. Oh, no fair, I had two breakfasts weighing me down. Let's race on the way home. I bet I'll win. Hi, welcome to Zuzumart. Oh, whatever, Esme. Is there anything in particular you're looking for today? Ooh, yes. I need to know where your giant marshmallows are. And how giant are we talking? Ideally, I want one that wouldn't fit in an average human mouth. If those don't exist, and if they don't, do you think I could melt down a ton of marshmallows to create one massive one? Giant marshmallows, third aisle, halfway up, left-hand side. Thank you very much. Susan, my pleasure, Esme. Esme, did you notice anything weird about Susan? Not really. Hmm, I don't know, Esme. Something smells fishy around here. Um, Olivia? Oh. Fish counter. Hmm. Come 
on, Olivia, let's get shopping. The sooner we get out of here, the sooner we can race home. OK, sure. You're on veg, I'm on fruit. Hmm, something wasn't quite right about Susan. But I can't figure out what. Thank you very much. Susan, my pleasure, Esme. <gasps> How did Susan know Esme's name? <laughs> Carrots! Who are you? Shh, I'm Susan. No, you're not. Susan is at the checkout. No, that's an evil witch. An evil witch? Was it Malice? <gasps> Malice! <laughs> I've turned into a carrot! Although, you're a vegetable, not a fruit. Uh, potato, potato. Also a vegetable. Whatever. We need to get out of here. Agreed. But how? <gasps> Olivia, I've got it! What happens when you eat a lot? You grow? Exactly! Yeah. 